Okay, we doing this? <laughs> What's up? Dylan just graduated school, so we're gonna go traveling. Let's do this! Where do you wanna go? We've been arguing between Europe, Southeast Asia. I do look like a hick. Yeah, I told you. Rick! So, we're trying to figure out a place. Dang it! <laughs> no, you made it. Put, this is one of these. Right here. Europe it is! <laughs> one way to Paris, $340. Hey, buy the one way ticket. Okay. September 26th. Sunday. Sabbath. Oh. Dang. The holy day. Actually, I think the seventh. I think Saturday, Saturday is the Sabbath. <laughs> Cut or action. We just bought ourselves some insurance for when we travel. Only medical though. You know we're not buying any of that cancellation fee or baggage stuff. We can't afford that. I love arch support. day before we head out to Paris. Right, say hi to our internet fans, Grandpa. Howdy. Yeah, I'm gonna say hi to our internet fans. Oh, ah. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello there, internet fans. How are y'all doing? We're having our going away breakfast. We're here with our well-traveled Uncle Randall. <laughs> but yeah, my grandfather did, he used to say, Trust in Russians, left with nothing. <laughs> so it's the morning that I leave. I'm almost crying, but I'm doing fine. <laughs> What's a windmill's favorite kind of music? Tell me. Big metal fans. Odds they let me take this to carry on. Putting that one in five. We didn't think we'd make it, but we made it on the plane. Now we're off to Calgary and then to Paris. Guess you didn't have to pay for the extra bags. Us. We made a new friend. This is Justine. Hey. <laughs> She's going to Paris with us. Wish us luck. Let's just do a quick walk for us, right? Onboard menu. Let's mm. talk. That looks like a perfectly mediocre sandwich. How much is that sandwich? See that bistro cool. box that might fill a quarter of your stomach? That's nine forty-nine. Holy! How much this was? Tell I have me. no idea. My mother packed it for me. We're gonna find our way because we got discount premium flight. We get to go on this shuttle. Yo, we just touched down in Paris. Y'all thought we wouldn't make it? You didn't think we'd make it, but we made it. I didn't think we'd make it. She didn't think we'd make it. <laughs> Definitely didn't think we'd make it. But we made it. But we did. This is Eustace. Say hi to Say hi to our internet fans. Hello. So we were just in a line for like 20 minutes, and it turns out we were in departures, so. What's up? Yo, we out here in Paris with my boy Dave Manstrick. Bonjour. We eating our very first croissant. First couple bites. Hey, this looks like a music video, man. Mmm, beaucoup de bien. Ultra? Damn, that's nice. But under construction currently. Sorry, where are we? Bouillon Chartier. Investor here is considering 
Uh, I'm considering getting the grilled pig's trotter with french fries. Now, from what I've heard, that's just the pig's foot that's served to you on a plate. But, trips about new adventures. Dylan, what about you? What are you considering getting? I think I have to go with the calf side. Give her a try. Three, two, one, two. One. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Breathe out your nose. Breathe out your nose. Thank you. Oh, it's burning the... It takes a minute. You get that? Wait, wait, wait. It's a bit. No, we're good. Yo, what's up? We're just headed to the Parisian market right now to grab some breakfast. Then we're gonna go off and do touristy stuff like go to the Eiffel Tower and uh, the Louvre. A little croissant, jam, can't do anything better. So we got a two hour walk ahead of us and it's raining. We're not taking the metro because we're poor. Little fact, if you start your Google map or your Apple map on Wi-Fi, then you leave Wi-Fi, use your GPS still works, right? Just so y'all know, <laughs> you know? Well, ours is cut out about halfway to our destination. So we're gonna have to start getting friendly and asking people where to go. That's this lady, who's probably 107. Bonjour, do you know where the Bastille is? She looks at me and she goes, over there, why do you ask? And it just like reaves me out. <laughs> During the French Revolution, there's a big prison called the Bastille. After kind of all the revolutionary stuff begun, uh, one of the things they did was they stormed the Bastille and thought it was going to be this great thing because there's all these like political prisoners in there and stuff. In reality, almost all of those prisoners had been moved to different prisons already. So they ended up freeing, I think it was like nine guys, and most of them had nothing to do with politics. Let me explain to you guys, there's two levels of opulence. There's this opulence where it's like, see that boat? Everyone here can agree that that is a beautiful boat. Now the next level of opulence goes meta. It goes, I have an expensive boat, and it's so expensive, I don't even care what you guys think about it, just look at my boat. Opulence, baby. favorite part about Paris so far. PDA. Yo, we are here at the National Library of France having an absolutely delightful lunch. So, walked out of the National Library of France but it turns out we were going the exact opposite direction we needed to go to to get to the Eiffel Tower and to the Parthenon and to the Louvre. We out here just entering the Pantheon. Don't know what to expect because we haven't looked into it at all, but it looked sick from the outside, so wish us luck.
just made it to the crypt, looking at some of our ancestors and the persecution they faced. right in beautifully with the statues, so you can't even see them. So I was trying to walk beside I didn't see the rope. <laughs> Kicked it, and I almost fell onto the statue, but you know, I got abs of steel, so I pulled myself back up, and it was, it was a close one. It was, it was really awkward. After hours of searching for the Eiffel Tower, went to the Pantheon, and guess what's right outside? Trying to figure out how to get out of this garden. We've been wandering around for it for like 20 minutes and we thought we found the exit because we couldn't see anything, but it turns out there's a 20 foot drop, two little grassland, and two unscalable walls. Le Tour de Fer. Je suis le Tour de Fer. So this is the first time of us using the metro station by ourselves. We don't know how we're going to get back to Dave's place, but the hope and a prayer we can make it. They need some AC on these trains. Y'all know the most important item when you travel. Make sure to blur out the explicit zone.